Okay, welcome to Warriors TV, and we have Stephen Chalmers here with us. First of all, Stephen, welcome to the Whitley Warriors. Thank you very much. How are you finding it yeah. so far? Yeah, it's been really good. All the the guys have welcomed me in and uh, been really helpful trying to get me a uh, job outside of hockey as well in this area. So they've been really helpful and it's been good to get back on the ice. Now, as you said there, you've, you're new to the area. You've just moved here. Did you know any of the lads before before moving here? Yeah, I knew, I knew quite a few, but like I knew Sam Zajac obviously played at Whitley and it was uh, I knew Harry Harley as well um, and Dean Holland I'd played with and Dundee as well. So there was a, there was a couple of guys that I'd played with or played against maybe when I was younger as well. Yep. So obviously that must help you settle in a little bit easier when there's a, a couple of familiar faces there. Yeah, definitely. I think it just when you see like familiar faces, like oh hey, like how how's things and um, what you've been up to, and like they just want to know like why you're down here, sort of thing. And but the, it's good to see everyone again. Yeah, absolutely. Now you've been playing hockey for a number of years now. You've played in various places, and you bring a wealth of experience to the Warriors. So. Um, what brings you to to Tyneside? Uh, well, my fam my family moved down here, so uh, I was in Sweden and just uh, decided like I wanted to come home. And uh, they were moving down here at the time, and I I've loved it and enjoyed it here, and ended up uh, just setting up my roots here. And then, obviously, with the pandemic and everything that's happened the last year, I just had to think like where I wanted to be and I didn't feel like uh, moving somewhere else just to play hockey and um, like hockey's been like my life basically um, and then it was kind of just out of the blue how it happened I was in Whitley Bay and uh, Sam Zajac said uh, oh what you're doing down here that like, you should like get on the ice with uh, the Warriors and then Got in touch with uh, Paul, and he was just saying, "Yeah, come on, nice." And like, ask him what my plans were, and I said, "Well, I want to stay here like full time and get a job here, and if I can still play hockey, like if the Warriors want me, um, I'd be really happy to do that." So that's kind of how it, it worked out that way, and uh, I think experience wise, like just. Like help, I'll be able to help. Like the, obviously, there's quite a lot of younger, younger players as well. So, like if I can like help the younger players, uh, give them some tips or like different things to look at. I think I'll do that. Yeah, as uh, started as training started back up yet? Yeah, uh, we trained last night, um, which was good. It was good to get back on the ice after a couple of months. Um, and good to see everyone again and um the, it was a bit it was a bit foggy foggy on nice yeah. last night um but no it was good it was good fun yeah it often happens this time of year it's a rare time that we do have uh, some nice weather in the Whitley Bay area that will, that will soon yeah. disappear I promise you <laughs> um so has have are you aware who your defensive partner might be for next season or is it still early days for that uh, still, I would say still very early days. Um, probably in the next month, month or two, you find out. I think it's it all depends on like how like you get a feel for different players, like how they play, and it's kind of getting some chemistry like between your defensive partner and then um, going from there, sort of thing. But like most teams have played on I've had like I've maybe played with like one person the whole time or it's been like here you're playing with this person or like it doesn't really matter um, because I could play like left and right side uh, defensively um, so it just all, all depends but um, looking forward to the season starting 
Absolutely, yeah. And, and from the uh, an out player announcements who have signed that have been confirmed so far, along with yourself, Ez Rollins and Harry Harley, and uh, between the three of you, that's uh, three very good, experienced, quality uh, blue liners at the club already. Yeah, I mean, uh, I've known Harry um, for a few years now. Really nice guys and top players as well. Like, um, yeah, so just looking forward to getting the season going and uh, hopefully uh, I'll be able to help the, the team win, win the league again. That would certainly be nice. Um, obviously, we have a big news this week has been that we are getting a season starting next month. So yep. I think that's going to be a huge um, relief for not only for fans, but of course for your players as well. And uh, something now that there is a, a start date in place, something to aim for and look forward to. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think everyone everyone knows how how tough the last year has been. Um, like, I think once hockey, like hockey has always been a part of my life. So it's like when you you're not playing or even watching it, it's it's like you're just desperate and itching to get back on the ice. And I'm sure the fans are like, they can't wait to get back in the, the ice rink and cheer the boys on. Yes, absolutely. I know that um, there is a sense that a lot of unfinished business with the last season that was played getting stopped just before the playoffs and, and various finals. So I think uh, from a fan's point of view, we'd, we'd love to see what sort of pick up where we left off, really. Yeah, I mean, uh, the team, like, obviously, they've been signing uh, guys that have been here a long time as well, so they know, um, like, that mentality, like, they want to win every season, and, um, like, I feel like I can bring another winning attitude in, like, winning in Coventry and uh, winning with uh, GB under-20s as well, so... It's uh, yeah. It's looking like it's going to be a good season. It certainly is, and um, well, I'm looking forward to seeing you in the maroon and gold this season. I'm sure everyone else uh, will do as well. And once again, just like to welcome you to the club, and uh, I'm sure we'll have a, a lot of good times this season to enjoy. Yeah, thanks very much, and I'm Thank looking you. forward to meeting meeting the fans as well. That's great. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you for your time.